Let me tell you one thing. It is not just your ex-boyfriend that's toxic, honey. It's your products too. Get rid of them. Kick them to the curb. <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we're throwing out all my toxic shit. So I have just decided for 2023 that I really wanna clean up my life. I wanna clean up the ingredients that I'm eating and putting on my skin and my body. I have really emptied out my pantry, my fridge, cut out seed oils. I have cut out a lot of bad ingredients in food and everything like that. I'll kind of talk more about that in future what I eat in the days. But that has also brought me down the path of looking at what's actually in my skincare, what's actually in my hair care, what's actually in my makeup. It all kind of started when I got pregnant because my doctor gave me this list of things I couldn't use. I couldn't use retinol, I couldn't use chemical sunscreen. And it really got me looking at, wait, what's actually in my sunscreen? What's actually in this product that I'm using? And I've never actually talked about this, but during my pregnancy, I thank God I had a really easy textbook pregnancy, but I did have thyroid issues. That was luckily fixed on medication and postpartum I had thyroid problems as well which actually landed me in the hospital. I had a really scary situation with that and my postpartum journey really wasn't the easiest. I had a lot of just like hormonal changes, like I said thyroid issues. So I have already gone through a good amount of my products while I was pregnant but like I said I kind of took a pause there postpartum because I was dealing with a lot and now that I really feel like myself, I'm eight months postpartum now, I really feel like myself again. I have a clear head it really got me like looking like okay Amy, you actually need to legit go through every single product that you're using and check the ingredients because there are a lot of toxic ingredients in the products that we're using and I actually posted on my stories the other day I said something like it's sad that companies don't care but honestly it's actually sadder that we as consumers don't care because we're the ones buying it if we keep purchasing these toxic products the companies are just going to keep making them and at the end of the day they're making the profit from it because they're using ingredients that are cheaper for them to source they don't care that they're bad for our health health they're just cheaper for them to source so they're making profit from it there has been such a rise in so many health issues over the years cancer infertility issues reproductive issues just our health in general has just changed astronomically over the years and you really have to ask why a lot of it has to do with the food that we're consuming the products that we're putting on our body and i'm honestly ready to just go completely clean with my entire life and cut out these toxic products out of my skincare drawer out of my hair care drawer and i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what about your makeup, Amy? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. I will have a video addressing makeup really soon, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, sign up for notifications so you guys don't miss that. I will have a video about makeup really soon. But quick little disclaimer, I just wanna say, the goal is to not like drive yourself crazy and try to be 100% non-toxic and be 100% clean because you will drive yourself crazy. The goal is not to be perfect, it's to be better. I am not an expert, you guys. I've just done a lot of research from experts and looked at a lot of research studies. The thing is, I don't look at myself as like an influencer, but the reality is I am. Like I have this platform here on YouTube. So if anybody can actually make these companies change, it's us YouTubers, it's us influencers that can actually go on social media, take a stand and say, hey, we're not gonna use your toxic products anymore until you change. Also, a huge disclaimer, I just wanna say, I do not hate these companies at all. At all, quite the opposite. A lot of these companies have been my favorites for years. A lot of these companies I've worked with and done sponsorships with over the years because they have my favorite products. But I'm just at a place where I'm not willing to use them anymore because of the toxic ingredients that are well known in these products. I actually just think a lot of these companies, there are some companies out there that know these products are bad and just don't care. But there's a lot of companies that simply don't know about these toxic ingredients and just aren't educated in that department. So all we can do is call them out and hope that they change. So I've actually been using this app. This is not sponsored. Let me just say that legit. This is not sponsored. This girl does not even know who I am, but I found this girl on Instagram. She created her own app. The reason she created her own app was because a lot of apps like EWG, uh, think dirty a lot of these apps I would go and scan products and they would come up as like green clean and I would go physically myself look at the ingredient list and see fragrance in it I would see phenoxyethanol which is a major red flag in ingredients fragrance alone is such a hormone disruptor literally as women our hormones are the number one thing we should be taking care of so it kind of got me thinking like 
mm, I don't really trust this app. Like, I don't really like the EWG app and Think Dirty app personally. She created this app called Switch Natural. This app is amazing because instead of scanning a barcode, you scan a literal like ingredient list. Scan it and there you go. It'll tell you all of the toxic ingredients in this specific product. And the greatest thing about it is you can actually click the individual ingredients and it'll tell you why it is toxic. It'll explain. And she will link research studies and articles supporting with actual evidence. It's a one-time fee, so you only pay once. It's not something you have to pay constantly monthly. So I will leave that app down below. So let's go through my products together. Okay, so I actually went through a lot of my products when I was pregnant, like I told you guys, and I switched deodorants. I found this Think Sport that is 100% non-toxic. I absolutely love it. So I am keeping these. This I briefly talked about in one of my recent vlogs. This is the Honest All Purpose Balm. So good, you guys, completely non-toxic. It is a great substitute for like Aquaphor and Vaseline, like those type of stuff. I love this, completely all purpose. I use this on Kylo's cheek. I use this all over my hands. It has cleared up my eczema on my hands. So I love this so much. Pharmacy Whipped Greens Cleanser. I switched to this one after discovering that the CeraVe cleanser is toxic. Let's pull up the CeraVe cleanser. And there you have it. So I do not use this one anymore. The swap that I made was the pharmacy. And if you're looking for a good drugstore affordable option, which I just wanna also say, I will have tons of videos coming up in the future. Just share with you guys even drugstore affordable options too. But in terms of skincare, Walita is such a good brand. I highly encourage you guys to do your own research. Look at the ingredients yourselves. Don't just take what I say as Bible, you know? Search it up yourself. This ordinary hyaluronic acid, I'm so disappointed in. Right away, I can see it has phenoxyethanol. There you go. Five toxic ingredients. Unfortunately, I scanned this yesterday and it has a ton of potentially toxic ingredients as well. Another thing I wanna say is you can't completely trust the Clean at Sephora stamp. Um, there are a lot of products on the Clean at Sephora that are not actually clean. They have fragrance in them and no hormone disruptor. So you can't always just trust that. That's why I really like using the app and looking at the ingredients physically myself. Scan and there you go. This pharmacy retinol has one potentially toxic ingredient. I'm keeping it for now, but I'm definitely gonna look for an alternative. Also, a lot of this just comes down to really what you're comfortable with. Um, maybe you're comfortable more going the low toxicity route where you're okay if maybe something has one or two. Um, this one has one. I will find an alternative, but I'll keep it for now. This is 100% clean as well. My absolute favorite. Okay, these items over here, I need to scan them to see if they are good. And it is not good, so I will be getting rid of this one too. Now let's scan the sunscreen. Nope, which a lot of sunscreens are pretty bad. It's quite hard to find a really good sunscreen. So getting rid of that as well. And I'm pretty sure this one's probably not good too either. Nope, not good either, but one thing I will call out is it does have fragrance in it, but if you look at the ingredient list here, it looks like Glow Recipe has 100% naturally derived their fragrance, which is great. So I'm not concerned with the fact that fragrance has popped up because I know they've used naturally derived fragrance, but this right here carcinogenic. So that's it for my skincare drawer. I clearly need to do some non-toxic shopping. I'm actually probably going to take you guys shopping with me soon on a vlog. Oh, there's more down here, more skincare. The Elta, I scanned that already and it is unfortunately not good, so I will be getting rid of that. This is expired, so I'm getting rid of that anyways. So ordinary glycolic acid, not good getting rid of that. Oh, hair care is like another ball game, you guys. All right, let's look at what we got in here. Also, what's cool about this app is you can take a photo directly in the app. Not good, so I will be getting rid of this, although it's my absolute favorite. I have already scanned a lot of weight products, unfortunately. My favorite brand, if you're watching this, I love you so much. But please, please switch to clean ingredients. Let's scan this dream coat. Take a photo of it. It's gonna be hard not to get a reflection. There we go. Let's try that photo. 
aerosol cans i'm actually just completely going to stop using aerosol cans because a lot of times with the aerosol you're inhaling the fumes so far i am getting rid of so many insane also i was doing a lot of research yesterday looking up like clean beauty brands and you guys there are so many amazing clean beauty brands out there to be discovered but they just don't get that much exposure so i know it may look like oh my god and even if it felt like that i mean for me at first like oh my god these have been my staples for years that i've loved like this is what i've loved using on my hair my skin my makeup and everything but there's so many great alternatives to these products like you don't need to use them as attached as we are to them there's so many great clean beauty alternatives out there aerosol can getting rid of and i'm pretty sure the ingredients are really bad too yeah i already see pge in here i already see fragrance Mm, my favorite styling gel, but I am pretty sure this is not going to be good. Oh, phenoxyethanol. Already I see that. Not good. Unfortunately, you guys, this is my absolute favorite hair mask ever, and I have a brand new tube. This, unfortunately, I have been using this for over 10 years, you guys. If anybody is like attached to this product, it's me, but it's just got it's time to get rid of because I have scanned it and it is not good. Not good. I am keeping this because I have nothing else to take off my makeup tonight. So I'm keeping this for now. But tonight I'm literally going shopping. So I have this L'Oreal box that I used to dye my hair and let's address something. It kind of got me thinking like there are great uh, hair dye alternatives out there like ammonia free and stuff. But I'm pretty sure even those have ingredients that are not good. But for me personally, if I'm using something once a month or not even I dye my hair like once every three months, I'm personally like okay with that. Um, a lot of this is just going to be up to your discretion, what you're personally comfortable with. For me, I really want to focus on the products that I am using every day, multiple times a day, and even weekly. You're never going to be like 100% clean because there's, where reality is there's toxic chemicals and everything everywhere. Um, so for me, it's more about limiting my exposure. Personally, I'm okay if I'm going to use something like every three months or so. I'm not really going to go crazy over that. These are the non-toxic body um, lotions that I love. I actually got this one when I was pregnant because when I went to the hospital, I didn't want to use any toxic lotions on my body. Anything scented when I'm holding Kylo for the first time after giving birth, you know, on my skin. So that's what really got me into looking like at body lotions and stuff. And I found this honest one. I love it. If you're in the US, you could probably find this easier. But in Canada, it's been so hard for me to just be able to access this easily. I had to pay like an overpriced amount. So I'm looking to like switch to something more convenient. I got this one. I really love the feel of this. Although it's just unscented, it has like this weird little smell to it that really bothers me. But I do love their unscented lo hand lotion. So good. But this, it performs really well. It just has a weird scent to it. I'm still looking for an unscented lotion that I like. Like this is crazy, you guys. The amount of toxic products that I have been using for years and consuming is crazy. I love the Isle of Paradise, but I've already scanned it and it is toxic, so it's gotta go. I actually already purchased a new non-toxic tanning that I'm gonna try from Sephora. Sephora actually has one. So for me, I am okay with the DHA in tanning products because there's currently just no other option on the market. I did a lot of research on that when I was pregnant. Um, but regardless of the DHA, a lot of tanning products create uh, contain a lot of toxic ingredients. Unfortunately, I love the Bondi Sands, but I will have to be getting rid of it. So Bondi Sands, if you're watching this, I absolutely love your formula. Even their Pure Line, I've scanned their Pure Line and it is not so pure. <laughs> um, so I love you, but please, please switch to Clean Beauty and use um, good ingredients so that I can use your products again because I love Bondi Sands, but I will not be able to use it anymore. I'm gonna get rid of them. There's really no need to use synthetic fragrance in products. You can use essential oils, plant-based aromas. There are other options than synthetic fragrance that disrupts your hormones. And here are all of the toxic ingredients in the Bondi Sands. Carcinogenic and associated with reproductive, developmental, and endocrine effects and DNA damage. I actually haven't scanned Loving Tan, but my hopes are just not high <laughs> after scanning, yeah, fragrance right away. And I see phenoxyethanol right away in there too. Let's take a look at the Jergens. Pretty sure this is not gonna be good too. Perfume, synthetic fragrance in there. I don't even need to scan because it's like right away I'm seeing that and I'm not willing to put that on my body anymore. 
fragrance. Okay, so this is my new product drawer and backups drawer. I'm excited to look through these because I haven't even like gone through these to see. This is the Summer Fridays Mineral Milk Sunscreen, Phenoxyethanol. This one is scanning clean, so I'm excited. The Honeymoon Glow, I have loved this product for a long time, so I decided to keep that. Let's see the Deep Sweep. Clean, so excited. A lot of pharmacy products are clean. You can't just go assume the whole brand is because there are a few that aren't. Mmm, no bueno. Getting rid of this. Phenoxyethanol, getting rid of that. Clean, so I will be keeping this. I've actually never tried this and I'm excited to try it. This Think Sport sunscreen is great. It, it does scan clean, but unfortunately, um, it does leave a white cast, so I'm not crazy about it, but I will be keeping it. I'll use it on my chest and my body. Fragrance, getting rid of that. I believe I already scanned this the other day, the Pharmacy Vitamin C Serum, and it's good, but let's just double check. Yep. Clean. I'm telling you, so many good pharmacy products. You guys, I literally cannot believe the amount of products I am having to get rid of. Pretty much my entire like routine is right here and just full of toxic ingredients. It's wild. This is a really great bubble bath. If you guys are looking for something that just really lathers up really well, this is completely non-toxic, clean, love their ingredients. I love Think Sport um, just as a brand, even Think Baby, they have like multiple lines. But I'm gonna be getting rid of my Whey shampoo and conditioner because unfortunately I scanned them and they are no bueno, unfortunately. But I did just place an order last night on well.ca. Even Whole Foods has this brand too, a lot of place to sell this brand but attitude is such an amazing brand their shampoo and conditioner i'm so excited to try it actually has really good reviews so i just bought that in replacement for this and it's cheaper like the attitude shampoo cost me like nine dollars where i think this is like 40 or 50 it's crazy it feels so good you guys to just get rid of all of these toxic products in my life like let me tell you one thing it is not just your ex-boyfriend that's toxic honey it's your products too. Get rid of them. Kick them to the curb. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy just watching me go through all of my skincare, hair care, beauty products in my bathroom. And I'm just excited to switch to all clean beauty for 2023. There will be lots more to come. I'm going to do clean beauty tutorials. I'm going to put you guys on to some bomb clean beauty products i'll do lots of reviews share a lot in vlogs i'm going to be doing a lot of reels and uploading on tiktok too so all of that info will be down below my tiktok and all of that follow me on instagram if you don't already so hopefully you guys enjoyed i will see you in my next video bye guys